Okay, students, let's discuss our concept is nothing but the preparation of amines. In this chapter, I'm going to discuss about the preparation of amines and how we are going to prepare amines only. All of discuss about the we can able to prepare amine from the alkyl halides. Let's have discussed about the preparation of amines from the alkyl halides. This is called as this concept is called as the ammonalysis only. Ammonalysis only. Okay, students, first of all, remember is there no by using up ammonalysis method. Look at the like hydrolysis method also. What is hydrolysis breaking up the compound by using up the water also? Here also we are going to breaking up the, the bond between the alkyl group and halogen atom by using up ammonia. That's the call as a ammonalysis only. So what happens there? Whenever alkyl halides are react with ammonia, they give semines only. Whenever alkyl halides are react with ammonia, they give semines only. Both allo aliphatic amines and aromatic amines we can able to prepare. Let's have a small discussion. Whenever alkyl halide react with ammonia, okay, ammonia. So what happens there? One of the hydrogen atom from the ammonia or halogen atom they move as a hydrogen halide HX. Next, what left here? There R will be left and N H2 will be there. This call amine. Again, these amine molecules are react with the alkyl halide. Again, one hydrogen atom from the nitrogen, here one halogen atom left, they form a R2NH. Again, this compound react with alkyl halide. What happened here? The one more hydrogen atom replaces, they form a R3N. This is the test amines. Again, these compounds are react with alkyl halide, they form a quaternary ammonium salt. They form a quaternary ammonium salt. So what happened there? In this chemical reaction, never stop with a single step. It takes place by the multiple steps with them. So we know very well when you just take the relation between the one is to one ratio of the alkyl halide and ammonia, you'll get the primary means. What will get the primary means? Suppose if you just take the two raised to one ratio, you'll get the alkyl halide two ratio. I mean the ammonia general one ratio, you just take the secondary means. If you take 3 is to 1 ratio, you will get the tertiary amine. If you take the 4 is to 1 ratio, you will get the quaternary amine only. Quaternary amine only. So not only uh, aliphatic amines, you can able to prepare the aromatic amines also. You can able to prepare the aromatic amines also. So how you can able to prepare aromatic amine? You can use called benzyl chloride. It's called benzyl chloride. Again, it's react with ammonia. What happened the inner well? One of the hydrogen atom is replaces. From the ammonia. First of all, ammonia containing of the three hydrogen atoms are there. One of the hydrogen atom combined with the halogen, they form a hydrogen halides only, and rest will be attached to it. So by using up this method, we can able to prepare the both aliphatic amines and aromatic amines. For suppose the after formation of quaternary and ammonium salt, I want primary as that tertiary amines means we use small base. So what happens in the base we use water when you get the tertiary amines, you get you get tertiary amines only. These salts are readily soluble in the water. These salts are readily soluble in the water. By using of ammonolysis method, I can able to prepare the primary means, secondary means, and tertiary means. Primary means, secondary means, and tertiary means only. So, what happened in the previous chemical reaction? We have one drawback we found. Out. What is the drawback? Is there no? It will produce only quaternary ammonium salt. It cannot have a single step only. So next, let's discuss about the second method is I want to prepare only primary means I can able to prepare by using up the Gabriel thalamide reaction. So this is Gabriel thalamide reaction. What I mean, this is called as thalamide. This compound is called thalamide only. What is this compound? You can see very clearly this compound containing of the one benzene name will be there and CONH will be there. Here, what I mean, your hydrogen atom is there. Do you remember is I mean I use the alcoholic KO. General KO which you use what happened there is the hydrogen atom and your OH group is what is OH group you know they left as a water molecule. So what happened there is the here N minus K plus, you know K plus and OH minus will come. Here H plus will come. So what happened there is the what again they your K plus ion will come here, they'll form one come salty. When it's react with alcohol, look at this alcohol here. What happened there? Potassium and halogen combined with three of me. Potassium halide, this alkyl group will come attached with the nitrogen. When this compound undergo hydrolysis, when this compound undergo hydrolysis, so what will get the will get the RNH2. It means primary means as a major product. Primary means as a major product. This is called as a Gabriel thalamide reaction. So you can see very clearly look at the undergo hydrolysis of the basic medium. Undergo hydrolysis basic medium. 
they'll got the idea of primary amine solid. So by using up Gabriel thalamide reaction, we can able to prepare the specially primary amines. This is a very selective method. This is a selective method. So by using up this method, you can able to produce only primary amines. Primary amines. General connection is considered the next one concept is here. We'll discuss right now from the oxymes. From the oxymes only. So you know very well what is oxymes. Okay, from the oxymes only. Okay, now next one is national alkyl cyanides also, amides also. First, I'll explain next one point is then we we'll just take the amide, CO and H2 is amide only. When it's undergo reduction with the lithium aluminum hydride, reduction with the lithium aluminum hydride, they form a amines. It form a amine solid. When it's a, we just take cyanide, cyanide compound also reduction with the lithium aluminum hydride. Again, it can be able to produce the amine solid. It can be able to produce amine solid. Okay, no amine solid. You can just take the oxygen and the better NOH. This kind of oxygen. So look at reduction with the lithium aluminum hydride. Again, they can produce the amine solid. Amine solid. So you know some nitro compound, NO2 compound also. It's react with the RNO2. I'm just taking that. Tin and HCl, it can able to produce the amine. It can able to produce amine solid. So students, remember the most important thing is in this chapter, I'm going to generally use that some reducing agents. Some reducing agents only. What is the reducing agent? I'm using here the MU's reducing agent. Tin and HCl also reducing agent. And zinc HCl also reducing agent. General iron plus HCl reducing agent. Lithium aluminum hydride, strongest reducing agent. Okay, now next one is sodium amalgam and ethyl alcohol. This is reducing agent. So, various kinds of reducing agent I'm using only here. Sometimes I'm using the sodium borohydrate only. Sodium borohydrate is also one reducing agent. So, what I mean, this all this condition hydrogen atom will be provided only. Hydrogen atom will be provided. So, let's next one is the look at the discussion about the preparation of amines from the oxygen. All oxymes, heat oxymes, and the metal by using all the preparation of amines only. First point you'll get out is what is oxymes? What is stands for oxymes only? So, you know, very well, just because I'm just taking a ketone. I'm just taking ketone. Ketone. When it's react with the ammonia, when it's react with the ammonia. So, what happened there? Here, the concept that when it's react with the ammonia, they can able to produce the oxymes. They can able to produce the oxymes only. Okay. Now. But when you undergo reduction by using of some reducing agent, like if you use reducing agent, tin and HCl, iron and HCl, whatever, maybe what happens is OH groups are replaced with hydrogen atom. This double bond undergo reduction. So, but here, the, here one hydrogen atom, here what happens here one more hydrogen atom, here one more hydrogen. They will undergo reduction. So, what happens there? When our oxygen is again reduced by the sodium, so tin and HCl, I would just take sodium, methyl alcohol, also no problem. If we use a Ether alcohol, no problem. Lithium, aluminum hydride, also no problem. If you use the sodium borohydride, this also no problem. So, why do they by using of the test? Take keto oxymes, all oxymes, you know, what am I? Est oxymes, what am I? Okay, now, for suppose keto oxymes, but this one is keto oxymes. Okay, all oxymes, but you can just imagine, I will say a small example CH3, C, CH3. Double bond NOH. Peanuts undergo reduction with the lithium aluminum hydride. You just take strong studies with this take. So, what will get idea? CH3, C, CH3, one new hydrogen atom will come and here NH2 will come. NH2 will come out. Okay, now this method only. Okay, by this method, what happened? I can able to produce the amines by using of the Ketoxem, oxymes. When oxymes under reduction, they can able to produce the amines only. Next one is the, from the alkyl nitrile. So, you know, it will be best common at the but alkyl nitrile can easily reduce by sodium and ethyl alcohol only. Generally, you can able to produce the primary amines only. Alkyl nitrile can able to produce primary amines. You can clearly conceive here clearly, just break the bonds. Two pi bonds are breaking. So, you are adding the two hydrogen atom here and here, two hydrogen atom here and here. That's enough. They form a amines only. For suppose you know you just take the ethyl nitrile, methyl nitrate only. When it's under reduction with the lithium aluminum hydride, also I'm just taking what will get the ethanamine. What will get the ethanamine? You'll get it. 
these are ethanol amino okay no so what happened i'm see very clearly so when our cyanide group undergo reduction nitrile group cyanide group also called as nitrile group they produce the amines only generally we get the only primary amines we get the only primary amines only we get it okay this from the alk from the alkyl nitrile also we can able to produce the amines only next one is there now from the amides from the amides only సింపుల్ కెమికల్ రియాక్షన్ అంత బట్టి ఇఫ్ యూస్ రిడక్షన్ విత్ లిథియం అల్యూమినో హైడ్రేట్ సోడియం బోరో హైడ్రేట్ టిన్ అండ్ హెచ్సిఎల్ వాటర్ మేబి ఇస్ దేనో ఎమైడ్స్ ఆర్ కెన్ బి కన్వర్టెడ్ ఎమీన్స్ సో నథింగ్ బట్ వాటర్ రిడక్షన్ ఈజ్ దేనో హియర్ వాటర్ ఈ రాక్స్ ఆటమ్ ఇస్ రిప్లేస్ దిస్ ఆక్స్ ఆటమ్స్ ఆర్ రిప్లేస్ విత్ టూ హైడ్రోజన్ ఆటమ్స్ సో నథింగ్ బట్ రిడక్షన్ సోలీ సో రిడ్యూసింగ్ ఏజ్ యూ కెన్ యూస్ ద టిన్ అండ్ హెచ్సిఎల్ ఆల్సో కెన్ యూస్ ఒక ఐరన్ ప్లస్ హెచ్సిఎల్ ఆల్సో కెన్ యూస్ సోడియం ఇతర ఆల్కల్ యూ కెన్ యూస్ వాటర్ మేబి ఇఫ్ యూస్ సోడియం బోరో హైడ్రేట్ ఆల్సో నో ప్రాబ్లం so it can able to produce the amines only suppose we could consider one one just take one small point is there r c double bond o nh2 when reduction is happen what happened here here two hydrogen atom will be added here two hydrogen atom will be added so what you will get idea here you will get the so this compound will be r c h2 nh2 plus water molecule plus water molecule is possible so by this reduction method what happened they can able to produce the amines from the amide only okay amines from the amide only this color the one of the chemical reactions only by this method we can able to produce the amines amide only. so both aliphatic amide and aromatic amide also purple i'm just taking the this aromatic amide only co and h2 we can use some all as mild reducing sodium borohydride nabh4 you'll get the okay na? phenyl amine it with an amine will get an h2 here nothing but you remember here the one of the oxygen atom is replaced with the hydrogen atom one of the oxygen atom is replaced with the hydrogen okay next one is the mesh method the reduction with nitro compound so very very clearly whenever no2 group under reduction in presence of the tin and hcl most most important tin and hcl only sometimes what x amount of hcl is present to remove the x amount of hcl you can use the pyridine also pyridine nothing but one base only So what happened there? When our NO2 group under reduction, in the presence of the tin and HCl, it gives amines. It gives amines only. For suppose, I'm just taking the methyl nitrate. Okay, methyl nitrate only. So this methyl nitrate, if I use some reducing agent, it can able to produce the amines only. It can able to produce amines only. So what happened there? By this chemical reaction, I can able to produce the amine. So by this method, what happened there? Students know we can able to produce the amines only. the by reduction of the nitro group only next one's most most important question is mathematics for they will ask continuous for the examination is called as a hoffman bromide reaction so it's called hoffman bromide reaction look at first of all is there no scientist in hoffman this called hoffman bromamide degradation so only here are using some bromine liquid here bromine liquid you can use the alcoholic koh which is a base only so what about the amides undergo degradation at the consider the here amide is there co nh2 is there amide undergo degradation they can produce the amines they can produce the amines only so what about the along with what about the here co2 group is replaced co2 group will be replaced only you can see very clearly when our amides are react with the bromine in presence of the sodium hydroxide potassium hydroxide they give the primary amine sodium carbonate this one is happen so how this mechanism happen is you can see very clearly rc double bond o nh there two hydrogen atoms are there so when it's react with the bromine molecule here one bromine molecule is here one more bromine molecule this hydrogen atom this bromine atom combined together form a hbr they leave as a hbr only minus hbr so what is left here rc double bond o nh and br is left you know very well bromine is electron with triangle group so it takes the bond pair after and moves so what will get here strains in the rc double bond o nh plus we are using some base on sodium hydroxide base here in the sodium hydroxide oh groups here structure protons only so what will get idea rc double bond o n nitrile group at this condition what happened the alkyl group shifting is happen from this carbon to nitrogen only this major step on strains in the so what will get idea here the here the considered r n double bond c double bond o this complex when it's undergo hydrolysis they produce rnh2 
and K2CO3. This is called as Hoffman bromide degradation method only. This is called Hoffman bromide degradation method. So by this method, can, we can able to prepare the primary amines. By this method, we can able to prepare the primary amines only. Primary amines only. This is called Hoffman bromide degradation method. In this method, especially remember here what you are using here is the bromine plus base. We take sodium hydroxide, potassium hydroxide also. No issue it comes. What I mean, amides and degradation, they produce amines. Amide and degradation produce amines only. Next one is the concept here, the reaction of amines only. First of all, one point to remember is the, what is the basic nature of amines only. By the chemical reaction, we are going to by the basic nature of amines only. Next, action with the nitrous acid. Primary amine, secondary amine, test amine, how they react with nitrous acid, whatever the different products they produce only. Acylation of amines only, adding up acyl groups of amines only. Here also, next one is alkylation of amines. Alkylation of the amines. Hoffman exhaust to alkylation only. Next one is the Hoffman elimination reactions also. Hoffman carbamine reaction, isocyanide reaction, every chemical reaction we are going to discuss only. So students said this next class we will discuss. Up to the this one remember, Hoffman bromide reactions very, very important chemical reaction.